Welcome to Electra Online. Our next problem deals with centripetal force. And let's read the problem to see what we're dealing with. We have a block of 200 gram mass moves with a uniform speed in a horizontal circular groove with vertical sidewalls and of radius of 20 centimeters. If the block takes 40 seconds to complete one round, the normal force by the sidewalls of the groove is, and they give us four possible answers. Notice that one of the difficulties here is going to be solving that without a calculator. So let's draw a picture, because it didn't give us a picture, but we have an object that's going around in a groove. So kind of like this. And here's the object in the groove. We have the mass equal to 200 grams, which is 0 0.2 kilograms. And it's going around the circle, and we know that the period is equal to 40 seconds. The radius of the circle is equal to 20 centimeters and uh, it is the side of the groove that's keeping it going around in the circle, which means we have centripetal force, force centripetal, which is equal to mv squared over r. All right. So that's what we're looking for. We're finding the centripetal force. F centripetal is equal to question mark. And it's one of those four answers. Now, of course, they don't give us the velocity, but they do, do give us the period, and we know the radius. So from that, we can get the circumference. So we know that distance equals velocity times time, which means velocity is equal to distance over time. And the distance in this case is going to be the circumference, 2 pi r, and the time is going to be the period t. So that is what we're going to use in our equation. So that means that the centripetal force is equal to m times v squared over r. And so this would be m times v squared is going to be 2 pi r quantity squared divided by the period squared. So that's v squared divided by r. That means we can cancel out one of the r's. So that can means that this is equal to 4 pi squared times m times r to the first power because we're going to cancel out with this r divided by the period squared. And now we just plug in the numbers and see if we can come up with something that's close to one of those. So this is equal to 4 pi squared times the mass which is 0 0.2 times the radius which is 0 0.2 divided by the period which is 40 squared. Hmm. 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 What I'm going to do is, because it's going to be easier to work with this right here, let's see here. What can we do? Um, so this is equal to, see that's where not having a calculator, you need to think about how you're going to solve this. First of all, pi squared is roughly 10. So we're going to call this roughly 10. We have a 4. We have 0.2, we're going to multiply times 10 and multiply that times 10 and divide this by 40 times 40. Now remember, I multiply this times 10, so I have to divide by 10, multiply this times 10, I have to divide by 10. So this makes things a little bit easier so we can start using scientific notation. So we have 40 divided by 40, so that cancels out. We have 4 divided by 40, so that would be equal to um, uh, 1, and that would be equal to 10, make that a 10. And then, since I have these two answers, which is close to 10, I'm going to multiply that times 10 and divide by 10, like this. So now, essentially, what I have here, this is approximately equal to, because I don't know exactly what pi squared is, it's a little bit less than 10, so it'd be 10 times 10 to the, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros in the denominator to the minus 4, and of course, that would be Newton's. So, what answer do I have that's close to that? Well, notice I have 9.859 times 10 to the minus 4, and none, no other ones are close to that. So this is times 10 to the negative 2, so that's not correct. So it looks like answer D is the correct one, realizing that pi squared is not exactly 10, it's 9.87 or something like that. It's a little bit less than that. But hey, close enough, I would say answer D is the correct answer. So, again, to solve the problem, we realize we're looking for the centripetal force, which is mv squared over r. 
right here. But we don't have v. v can be found to be 2 pi r over the period, the circumference over the period. So the circumference squared over the period squared, because we have v squared. Then this r squared and this r cancels out to a single r in the numerator. We have 4 pi squared times m times r divided by t squared, plug in the numbers, and then with the arithmetic, making it a little bit easier, instead of 0.2, I made it 2 and divided by 10, 0.2, 2 divided by 10. Uh, pi squared is about 10, and uh, then I realize I end up with something that needs to be close to 10, so I multiply the bottom and top by 10 as well. I have four tens in the denominator, which is 10 to the minus 4, one 10 in the numerator, which is 10, and I get the answer close to D. And that is how it's done.